Hi, I'd like to demonstrate how to use the LastGen Editor to build a very simple UI for displaying temperature and humidity. So let's start. So in the LastGen Editor, click New to create a new project. So let's find a location to save it. Let's call it Weather UI. And let's specify the uh, the size of the the last gen board uh, display. So let's, we're using a 2.8 inch for this case. So let's start. So in here, um, you select the the model that we're using. We're using the uh, the 2.8 inch. And in the display section, we select the uh, the orientation of our application. So we placing it horizontally so it's 90 degrees okay so now we've got a blank project um, first let's start from um, from building a nice background so let's add a picture so in here we click add and then we select a nice image so I've got a, a standard um, image which I'm going to use um, there we go so make sure that the um, the image matches the screen um, resolution so for the 2.8 inch case is 320 by 240 if it's two, uh, 3.28 2 inch it's 400 by 240 so you need to be, be careful with that so now I am um, adding a image, uh, a picture to place on the UI, and so I've just clicked picture, and now we've got this um, picture. Um, it's still blank because I haven't linked it to the to the picture that I've added. So in here, the way that I link it is using the attribute section here, and let's choose the picture. So now, since I've added this um, picture resource. Um, name of the resource is, uh, is called zero so I, I'm linking it to zero and then now the 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 picture that I've added is linked to the image that I've added so now I've, we've got a nice background and let's add the the text for showing the the temperature before that um, note that uh, we need to first create the font so the way that we can create the font is using this tab here as you can see there's nothing here so we need to um, either if you already have fonts you can add it here um, using uh, some some cr fonts that you might have created before or if you have not ever created a font before um, you can use the tools font generator here so we are now creating a font so let's create a, a, a pretty large font uh, font 48 we're using um, let's say select the font let's say um, Arial okay so it's height 48 Arial and let's call it Arial 48 and generate the font and let's save it to a file called Arial 48 okay so now the font is generated and add the generative font so that would add the generative font to the project as you can see here and now let's create another um, smaller font so let's create a size 16 using Arial so let's call it Arial 16 Right, so now it's generated. And let's add to the project. So now I've, we've got font 0, font ID 0, which is Arial 48. And we've got font ID 1, which is Arial 16. So now let's draw the... Um, uh, 
a text box with a font of zero which is the 48 that's why you can see it's pretty big this is for showing the temperature um, let's let's tap in something to basically see how it looks so let's say um, 20 20.2 or 20.1 and let's make it right align and let's so show the degree Celsius or, or degree Fahrenheit if you're in US um, so let's add, add, add another text here to show that that degrees Celsius so let's try it so C and we want to make this uh, using the smaller font so let's do font and let's type 1 here so as you can see here it's linked to this Arial 60 now so that's why it's pretty small so let's repeat the same oh before that we need to name it so let's name it uh, temp t so that we can easily remember name so we call this tax um, temp t and let we add another one and we're going to to show the um, the humidity for this one so we call it um, humidity t h u m t so um, and let's make it right align again and let's see how it looks by typing some dummy values here and we're going to add the the percentage here so these are the, the two static text and we're going to link this again to the font one which is the, the smaller font okay so now it's pretty much done um, and you can also adjust the color here if you like um, for for each of these tags so for example if I want to change the color of the temperature tags to let's say um, red I can change it to use the red color and it will instantly changes it maybe we should change a, a better color um, let's change it to blue okay so we let's change both so we can use the the color code here so 8671 and let's put it here So both are now both the humidity and the temperature are now changed to blue color. And let me show you another trick that I usually use. Um, there's a pretty handy dim function um, that um, the national display uh, provide. Um, and I would like to um, utilize the touchscreen function so I can adjust the um, the brightness of the display using um, a touchscreen. So in the way that I'm going to implement this is to um, add two buttons here. So one is around this area for for dimming the brightness and another button will be here for making it brighter okay and note that these the buttons will be overlaying on top of the background image um, so I'm going to show you how to do it okay so now let's add a button by default the button will just cover the the background image but don't worry about that I'll show you how to um, overlay it 
the button in a sec. So I'm adding two buttons first. So let's say one is towards the the left half and one is towards the um, the the right half of the bottom. All right, and the way that um, we can um, overlay it on top is to use the this property um, background field, and I can use um, a crop image, which means I'm using the background as background image as the image on the button. So I'm using choosing crop, and then in here I can choose the pick, which is my image. So I need to change both the pick and uh, pick two. So one pick PICC that's the default crop image, and pick two is the crop image background when when it's pressed. So I'm changing both, and then I don't want the text, so I'm going to remove it. So as you can see here, it's it, it's basically make the button look transparent by cropping the background image onto the 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 button so now I'm doing the same for button one so let's remove the text first and again choosing crop image and selecting the image for both pick and pick two and now we've got the button, which buttons look which looks transparent. Um, however, I have not hooked up any event, any actions onto the buttons. Um, the code to, uh, as I mentioned before, the code that I want to link this button is to dim the display, and the code to run this button is to make the display brighter so this button will dim the display and this button will brighten the display so the code to do so is um, dims equals dims minus 10 so um, it so it this code will set this variable dims to 10 less than the value before and I found also found a bug that if it's um, less than 0 this dims variable would just cause some issues on the display so I'm I want to make a uh, some code to protect against this bug I'm not sure whether this is intended or bug but we, we really need to protect um, um, and avoid the dims to be less than uh, zero. So this is the code that I'm linking to the um, button on the left and um, on the right hand side we're doing the opposite. Right, so it's done. So on the this button on the left, we are dimming the display, and now the button on the right, we are brightening this display. So let's do a quick trial by hitting debug. So um, yeah, so it basically shows that the it runs fine um, without any errors so it's all compiled so let's uh, copy it to the display and try um, the way that um, we should copy it is using the the TFT file um, so go to file uh, build open build folder it shows the uh, the output and this is the output file um, in a compiled format 
uh, in TFT and uh, we should copy it to an SD card and copy it into the display.